Hello. Um, this is a video that's a little hard to make because I wanted to... I wasn't sure what I wanted to say at first, and I wasn't sure how I wanted to format it, how I wanted to edit it, how I wanted to present it, if I wanted to make it look nice or good or whatever, and I think the best way to do it is to just talk while I play some Minecraft because I want to talk about the future of this channel and why there's going to be some changes and less activity. So the video title is probably going to be something about a channel update and I might call it something to do with thank you, we'll see. But essentially, I want to say thank you to all of you who have been subscribed for a while and watched my content, who have been supporting me and my channel and, and like just been part of this for a while. I've had this uh, channel for just over three years now and I'm proud of a lot of the videos I've made. I'm proud of the community I've cultivated and the friends I've made and I'm very you know proud of it. But I think it's also fair to say that something's not working. Um, and I don't mean that to like, not to downplay how much fun I've had or you know like obviously YouTube is not, YouTube is about growth. I mean well YouTube is entertainment but it, for the YouTuber it's about growth and I'm grateful for every single subscriber I've ever had, don't get me wrong, but in the grand scheme of things, 500 or around 500 subscribers just isn't that many people in the grand scheme of YouTube, right? Especially when it's not like those are my subscribers I'm getting, you know, thousands of views a video. It's like, it's the subscribers and then like a few of those select subscribers actually show up to the streams or videos or whatever. And obviously when you're a new channel, you are, you expect that. You don't really expect to get thousands of views in your first, it's just not, the, it's, that's just not what's going to happen. And I was, I was thinking about that. And when I first started my channel, I was doing Fortnite and I get some views, some videos do better or worse than others. I was getting around maybe 15 views a video and I was like okay I need some of my game and I was looking at my analytics and I was noticing that a lot that a lot of people I just wasn't getting clicks right and I, my, my retention because YouTube is centered around retention they want if, if YouTube wants it where if you click on the video you're watching it for a long period of time right and my retention was okay but I was getting so so few views that any information I could glean from my analytics wasn't useful so I focused a lot of effort on to making sure my videos were seen, right? So I really worked on my title and thumbnail combinations. I studied, I, I got better at like Photoshop and rendering and graphic design. And I think my thumbnails look really, really good. So I started looking at retention and again, said, okay, my retention is not great. The intros kind of suck, you know, better. Basically what I'm trying to say is I went through retention. I went through click-through rate. I went through uh, general optimization. And over the course of three years, I've gotten really good at making content in the sense that I think I have bring a really good quality i think all my videos have a really good quality with a few exceptions at least like you know modern ones um i started a minecraft smp didn't really go anywhere and that was deliberately a little less quality because i wanted to experiment with the less with a more casual type of video but generally speaking my videos have always had a or at least for as of recent i've had a pretty good quality i think a certain standard that i hold myself in this channel to um along with the streams and I think the way I format it and color grade it and edit it, I put all this effort into editing and I do multiple versions of like thumbnails. I experiment, I change thumbnails, I play around with the title, I do all these things and I've even invested in some equipment. Not that I think, I think you have a great YouTube channel, even without equipment, you don't need a camera or even a great, well, you kind of need a good mic, but a decent mic, no camera, no lights, no green screen, even not even a good computer, right? I've invested some stuff because I also enjoy creating. Wasn't I was never seen as an investment because to me, I enjoyed creating. Right? It, it wasn't like, oh, I'm okay with spending this much money because I'll make it up someday when I get monetized. Like that was not my mindset. My mindset was always, I enjoy creating. What tools can I use to help me create better? And that was always my mindset. So it never felt like an investment. It never felt like a waste of money. But. That was another thing where I would also spend some money on some equipment. I would say, let me raise my production value, right? Let me make sure I have a good camera. Let me make sure I have a ring light. Let me make sure I have stuff where I can edit on the go. And I would do these things. And not that I thought I needed those. I knew I didn't need them. But it was another thing I would work on. It's like, let me just raise the standard of this channel. And I think I'm a good editor. I think I'm a good thumbnail creator. I think I can make craft decent titles. I think I understand the pacing of a video. I've been studying um, plot and how to do storytelling. I think I understand a lot about like settings and graphical settings and how to record and OBS. And my point is, I think I've gotten very good at producing videos. And 
I was looking into my the channel, my analytics, and I spent a lot of time in this one video recently. I was playing a Mario Maker Challenge, I recorded it on stream, and it was kind of a wake-up call, because the video did really well in views. It was, it's like, on YouTube it gives you a little metric, and it's, it's like, uh, like 1 out of 10, or 10 out of 10, or 3 out of 10, or like whatever in between. And a 10 out of 10 is bad, because that means it's talking about, out of your most recent 10 videos, how well has your most recent video performed? So if you have like 1 out of 10, that means out of your most recent 10 videos, that is the best video you've made out of your most recent 10 as far as views per how long it's been out. Um, and it was a 1 out of 10, which is good. I was like getting a crazy amount of views and like a lot of views, a lot of click through rate. And it was funny because at first I was really excited. I was like, okay, cool. I did really good with the thumbnail, the title. It's a good concept. People are rocking it. And the retention was not great, but it wasn't terrible. And it started dwindling off, and it was one of those things where I was looking, I was looking at the cards YouTube, and you can, see, like, you can see a graph of where people start to dip off. And I realized, uh, which I maybe I should have realized sooner, but it wasn't... The issue wasn't the production value, it wasn't how well I could edit, because I can edit fine, I've realized that now. The issue that I have been running into, and should have realized sooner, is that... I'm just not a super entertaining person, and I, I think I'm, I'm better in person, I'll, I'm gonna tell myself that, to my own ego, but I think in front of a camera, when I'm making a video, I think I'm not a good person on camera, I think I'm not the good, I'm not a good host, I guess is how I would put it. I think I know a lot about how content works, how to make good content, I think I know what goes into good content, but I started to realize that I think when it comes to being on the fly and working on a video and trying to make sure that I'm being entertaining and funny and what I'm saying is not work, I just don't think I have that skill. And it's something I can work on, I want to work on it, but at the same time I also want to be realistic because I, I, do, I do enjoy creating, but I'm also somewhat of a perfectionist and I put a lot of pressure on myself and sometimes creating a video is hard because I enjoy what I'm doing, but I can't enjoy it because I'm so focused on trying to make it better, trying to optimize it, trying to make it better in a way that I think YouTube will agree with or you guys will agree with that it becomes not fun. And I think the most recent video I worked on was a good example of that. I had to force myself to work on the video for weeks and excuse me. It just it wasn't fun because I was focused so much and eventually I actually had just I just had to call it. I was like, I can't or no, sorry, it wasn't that I can't make this video better. It was more so that if I keep trying to make this video, because there were things I could have done to make the video better, but it was if I keep trying to make this video better, I'm going to run out of things to say, things to do, things to, like, actually include. And I misspoke. That's not that's not what I was trying to say. I was trying to say, if I keep trying to work on this video and, and do keep adding things and things to include and thinking of more things, I'm never going to finish it because I'm going to burn out. I misspoke a little bit. What I'm trying to say is that even though I enjoy creating, it becomes a challenge because I, I focus too much on the individual video. And I think the issue was that I, I raise my expectations of myself and my channel so high that every stream I have to be maximum energy, I have to have uh, like all these transitions and make it look good and present it and color grade and have a different scene set up and zooms and like all these different things that I can do and show and make to make what in my mind is good, good content that I sort of lost the point of expressing myself and my creativity and I was looking at my timeline from my most recent video and I put so much effort into it and I had to just accept that no matter how much I edit this video, I just am not a good host. It's just not entertaining. I don't bring the humor to it. And I'm not, and I'm sure there'll be some people who are like, oh no, Xena, you're actually amazing. We love your content, like, whatever, which I appreciate. I disagree, but I appreciate. My point is, is that I've been had this channel for three years and I have basically nothing to show for it. I'm proud of what I've made, but as far as actual numbers, I have almost nothing to show for, this, for my channel. And I'm okay with that. I, I really am. I'm disappointed, but I'm okay with it. But I don't want to let the channel die, because I, I like I, I like creating videos. I, I really do. It's something I enjoy doing. I don't want to stop. But I also realize I need to focus on different things, which part of that is going to be my, my storytelling, my ability to entertain, to make good content. And I'm not sure if that's going to manifest exactly, but... There's going to be some changes for that, so there might be less of a focus on editing and thumbnails and just even what's actually happening on screen, and more so just like, is the video 
something that leaves you satisfied would you choose to click on would you i think for me is that I, so the youtubers i watch is that when they upload i'm excited not because i'm excited for their editing or what the game they're playing or you know whatever mode they're playing or challenge they're doing it's because i just enjoy their personality and whatever challenge they're doing is fun because they're the one doing it and i realized that my content has a really good production level but i just don't have the ability to or at least as of now i don't have that power to say you should watch this for me and that's reflecting you guys i see that as well not to be not trying to shift blame or anything but like when i stream for example right you guys aren't watching for me you're watching for the games i play you when I, when i'm doing something where i'm interacting with chat right whether it's be like playing mario kart with viewers or mario maker playing your guys' levels or having a smash for this tournament or whatever it may be those get way more views and way more people than if it's just me playing a game or doing what else with my friends and what i didn't even realize is that you guys aren't watching for me or my commentary you're watching so that someone will play your levels and for a while i accepted that i was okay with that but i realized that that's not sustainable that's not it, it just doesn't work as soon as i start getting bigger then like i can't play everyone's level. it just doesn't work long term and so okay so let me i feel like i've, I've hammed this point enough i should probably wrap it up but let me what how do i explain this i'm going off to college in about a month um i'm a uh, graduate of high school i am basically I'm, I'm not gonna say my age but i'm at a point where there's going to be some changes in my life happening and there is college and there are things that i need to focus on outside of my channel which i the channel is never the number one part of my life ever like it was never i hate to say this was never my part there's been many many things that i've taken priority in my life over this channel and so that nothing's really changing there but i think what i'm trying to say is that i don't know how to, how if i'm going to be able to make content i don't know what my dorm situation is going to be like i don't know if i'll have all my equipment i don't know how my roommates will be if they'll be okay with making content i just don't know and i'm also not sure if i want the pressure of making content um sometimes one of you will leave a comment and it'll be like xena when's the next time you're going to stream and i'll see that comment and I never know what to say because on the one hand, I'm flattered that you guys are asking me. You guys miss me. You want me to stream. And on the other hand, I'm also not sure what to say because I'm like, I don't know. I don't know the next time I'll stream it. When I feel like it. When I think I have something to, new to present. And it's also pressure. It feels like I need to stream or else you guys are going to forget about me or not come back. And, you know, and there's been some of that. There's been people who I, I would consider longtime viewers who just kind of stopped showing up one day. And yeah, that's fine. It's not their fault or anything. I'm not like mad. I'm not like, oh, where are you? Insert username. Like I'm not pressed about it. But it's just things I notice. I, you know, I'm a very, I'm the type of person who likes to gather information and slowly draw conclusions over time. And the conclusion that I've drawn is that I focused on the wrong things and that I, I brought up my production level without bringing up my personality or bringing up my entertainment value. And now that I'm at a, a turning point in my life, I need to focus on other things, and I can't even, I, I might not be able to bring that production value, so if I can't entertain, and I don't have the production value, what am I, what am I putting forth on this channel, right? Because I've always maintained, something that I always hold least to myself, is that there needs to be a reason for a video to exist. I don't, because I, I have lots of ideas. I have spreadsheets and documents and folders full of ideas for this channel, right? And I have a very strong thing where I try not to make content that I think you can find other places or that I think I can do better or differently in some way that's significant, right? Which is why I got I don't always love playing Mario Maker levels or playing Mario Kart with viewers because that's to be boring. It's like that's just that's just playing Mario. I love playing Mario, but I like playing Mario because I like playing Mario, not because I like the like theoretical conversation I get out of it from YouTube, right? So it's one of those things where i'm sort of just not sure what i'd be bringing to the table if i can't bring either the production or the entertainment sorry about that and basically i am just i'm not saying to get back from the channel because i still will continue to make content but I don't know when I'll upload. I don't know if I'll stream or when I'll stream. That's my friend, uh, Teddy Patoti. Hi, YouTube. I don't know when I'll stream, if I'll stream, when I'll make videos, if I'll make videos, but they're not going to be the same. They're not going to be as frequent. It'll probably be a different game, different style of content as well. So this is goodbye for now in the sense that 
I'm not sure what the future of the channel is. I don't know. This isn't an update video in the sense of where, like, this is where the channel is and this is where it's going to be. It's, this is where the channel is and it can't stay like this. And I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be a change. And that's a little sad in a way because there's probably at least some of you who would be sad about it, disappointed, who have gotten used to the kind of content I make. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. I feel bad. But I also am excited because I feel like I've gotten kind of stuck in a loop of what the content I make and what I admit to on stream. And I'm excited for the opportunity to do something different without any expectation on myself or from you guys. Um, and I was, it is a little sad, but I want, I say, I want to focus on the positive. So, thank you. If you are here, some people, have, some of you have been here since I've had less than 50 subscribers. You've been here for multiple years. You've been coming to the streams, the videos. You are from all around the world. I have viewers from Ireland. I have viewers from Switzerland. I have one viewer from Australia. I have viewers who told me they're staying up for my streams. And to those of you, I appreciate you. And I'm not forgetting you. But I also need to do what's best for me and what's going to help me with my creative outlet. And... Maybe I'll experiment and I'll end up exactly where I was before. Maybe I will end up making the exact same content, but I don't know for sure. And I don't, I just want to remove all expectations. I don't, I want to basically have a, a clean slate without a clean slate. Like I'm, I want to, I'm going to be proceeding on this channel. Like I'm going to be, I'm basically, I'm leaving all my old videos up, including this video, but I'm going to proceed forward as if. It's a brand new channel, as if there was no videos, no old viewers, no precedent. I'm going to go forward as if I made this channel yesterday, and it's my first video, and I'm just going to make the content that I want to make, and I want to focus on being entertaining, on making something that's worth watching, and not so much on the effects, or the sound effects, or the music, or whatever, just is it fun to watch. So if you are earning this content, you've been here for a while, thank you really, truly from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate you. I'm not sure when the next time I'll speak candidly about this channel and how I feel about it, but it's, I I'm sad. I'm, I I have no idea how attached some of you guys are to my content. I don't think I'm that big of a, I don't, I don't, I don't think, I know I'm not that big of a content creator. So I imagine if there is anyone that attached, you're kind of unique for that. Um, I don't think there's, um, <laughs> Uh, I don't think there's anyone who's really attached, I, so I feel like I'm being overly sentimental for no one in particular. And maybe I'm just being over overly sentimental for my own sake, but... Even so... I want... This channel has been something that I've been working on for a long time, and it's special to me because it's just something I've worked on, it's my creative outlet, right? So because it's special to me, I want to give it this proper send-off, this video, to explain why I'm changing my content, even if it's just for myself, even if no one else watches this video, no one else cares, but I come back and I watch this video in like five years and like, oh, look at my channel. Like this is, this video is for everyone who got used to my old content, including me. 2D fell. Okay. So, sorry. I know I'm, no, I'm, 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 I'm repeating myself. I'm saying the same thing over and again. It's just because I, I, I really wanted this to be candid. I'm not going to edit this video. I just want this to be candid. So truly thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you've been here or you've been here for one, for one day or for three years, I thank you so much for everything that you've shown the support you've shown i really do appreciate it and i'm gonna give you one last until i see you guys next time eat a banana peace because i truly don't know if i'll be saying that anymore so yeah there you go there's the last one actually i'll give you one more to actually end the video on i oh i should just i didn't start the video with hello there banana gang well wait did i i don't remember i don't know either way thank you truly for everything until i see you guys next time eat a banana Peace.